Welcome to Accessorize Your Life for another Beauty Over 40 collab. I hook up with the ladies on the last Tuesday of every month. So this month, it's a Valentine's Day look. So look no further for inspiration. Just stay tuned for the wonderful, gorgeous looks coming from these ladies and myself. I know you love those looks, so visit their channels to show love and support for those drop-dead gorgeous looks. Alrighty, let's get started with this look. To start off, I have uh, moisturized my face with the Clarins. It's their Beauty Elixir. It's a great moisturizer and gives a nice feel to the skin. Nice scent as well. And I have color corrected, and I color corrected with the LA Girls um, color corrector in, or concealer in orange and then I also went over my skin with a little bit of the elf and this is the matte and poreless um, kind of like a primer for the skin and I have also used uh, the Juvia's Place primer as well as the Milani primer and I think it was a little overkill because my eyes are feeling really dry so I went in with the uh, eye moisturizer by Belief and um, still feeling a little dry there. And so now we're ready to get started with the eyes. For the eyes, for Valentine's Day, I am using a palette from BH Cosmetics that came out for Halloween. It is the Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit of Psycho. <sighs> yes, but the packaging looks like Valentine's Day to me. No hearts, just the red and black. And this is what this little mini palette looks like inside. And it's just repeated here that it's a, a drop dead gorgeous little bit psycho. And look at those colors. They scream Valentine's Day. I mean, maybe not your yellow. Where's that yellow? Maybe not this yellow here, but the other colors do. What I'm going to start off with is a set of brushes that I picked up from BH Cosmetics that are by BH Cosmetics, but I actually picked these two items up from Ross and they were heavily discounted. Plus it was on a Tuesday, with, which you may know is 55 and older. On Tuesdays get 10% off. So um, yeah, I made use of that and I didn't mind picking it up since I got 10% off. So I think I'm going to go with the thicker packer brush and I'm going to spray the brush because there is fallout with this palette. It's a beautiful palette, but there is some fallout. So I'm gonna spray my brush with this e.l.f. Um, this is the matte blending spray. And then I've decided to go in with, into this beautiful rusty red color that's right next to the yellow. And I'm just going to take that on both sides of my brush. Heavily coated. And let's get started with the eyes. Oh yes, I did my brows. And I used my usual, my Kat Von D. But I did go in with the NYX Thicket. Stick it. And I uh, have it like in a medium brown color. Uh, I think I may need a little darker, I'm not sure. But let's get started with this look, okay? So I'm just going to take this color and just start patting it because I really don't want any fallout. Alrighty, so I've got that color down. And next I want to go in with this um, beautiful purple color right there and go in with that purple. It's going to be a little fluffy brush here and I'm going to spray it as well. Load it with the color. Just tap it in there all around. And next I'm going to start with this eye here. Come in with that purple color. Yeah, we see it. Now I could take a little um, eye primer and do a little cut there, but I just want to see how these work together. So 
I'm just going to bring it right over it. Around the edges. Pick up some more. And now with a smaller flat brush, a packer brush as I like to call them, I'm going to spray it. And I'm going in with this gorgeous pink color here. But I'm a little tempted to add a little bit of yellow. Hmm. Let's save that for the end. Oh no. Let's not. Let's go in with the pink. Whoa. Got a lot on my brush. And now I'm going to go in, I think there is a pencil brush here. Yes, a tip. It has a pencil tip to it. Let's bring that over so you can see it. And there is a black in this palette. So I'm going to use it. And I wanna use that to ground the colors. Just swiveling my brush in that black some. And I want to take that black right here, just a little bit. I'm getting a nice smoky eye by adding this little bit of black. It already looked a little smoky without it, but now it's giving me some depth there. And I want to go in more because I think I'm losing my purple color, which I really want to have there. Going back in with that purple. And actually, I'm going to take my finger, wet it, spray it on my finger, dip it in the purple. is bringing that purple back. Yes, it is. It's just, even though the eyeliner has a tip on it, I'm gonna go in with this brush to help me get a more defined line, I hope. Sometimes it's the angle brush is just what you need. So yeah, it was harder to make it as sharp as the other side. Although that's not looking so, I'm gonna have to clean that side up. Neither one of them are looking sharp. <laughs> so uh, let's take uh, this makeup wipe and try to clean that up some. But it does help having that there. Could have used tape and that would have helped me out a lot. Okay, I think that's fine for now. And I'm gonna go in with my, um, it is in my shop, my stash. I'm trying to get through it because I do have another bottle that I need to use. And I'm going to use this uh, Morphe brush that I picked up and added to my shop, my stash. One pump to start, starting in the center of the face. And then I'm going to work it out.
with my concealer, which is almost done. This is by Maybelline. Go under my eyes here. Little ear. Bring it up. Now I need to add some dimension to my face, so I'm going in with Fenty's. The cream uh, for the cheeks here is in Chocolate 06. It's called Cheek Out. I'm using it as a bronzer. I guess that's what it's intended for. First, I'm going to just start off with my finger, warm it up in there because it's rather emollient and really dark, as you can see. Just tap it, tap it, tap it. But it just kind of like disappears on you too, so it's not too bad. It's not as um, staining as the Danessa Myricks. Okay, I went in with a little bit of that because I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury, her um, airbrush bronzer. And again, I have it in four. That is what it looks like for me. Dip in there and just take that over that doing two things, it's making it uh, more obvious, and it's setting the cream. It's a little more redder. It's not as chalk, but uh, it'll work. Okay, so um, we were supposed to mention or share our goals with you, but I totally forgot that because I was just in so in to the makeup, but my goals for Accessorize Your Life for 2022 are very simple. I want to really, uh, I have them written down here, I just want to emphasize makeup for the older woman. And by that, I mean I want to encourage um, women over 40, over 50 and 60 to use makeup to uh, not feel invisible. So by using makeup, I think it gives you more confidence and it helps to enhance the, uh, your natural features. And I think that um, you can embrace aging a little better, uh, you know, when you take care of yourself that way. Of course, you're gonna take care of yourself with your health, exercising, eating healthy and things like that. But um, by using makeup, I think it helps to bring your best face forward. And you don't have to use a lot. Just enough to bring some color to your face and just to um, make you feel a little more confident when you go out. It's, you feel like you're putting your best face forward. Okay, and so that is one of the goals. The second goal is to grow my channel uh, into a community of sharing tips and things with uh, each other so that we're not keeping things to ourselves. We're sharing it and helping each other to embrace aging and using uh, makeup. And third is to have a um, brand reach out to me with PR because I'm getting to a point in my life when I will be retiring soon and cannot afford to put money towards makeup as much. So therefore, I'd like them to share with me products from a brand that in that is all about the aging woman, whether it's makeup or skincare, and to um, send me products so that I can use them and share them with you as well. And I propose to do this by uploading four to six videos per month. The, if I do six, those are like bonus videos, uh, but I mainly want to focus on four videos a, videos a month and to continue those videos with Shop My Stash and the two collabs I do and then a product review video. And uh, that means reviewing any new products that come in to me and then Shop My Stash and then the two collabs. And um, I want to target, like I said, the um, application of makeup for mature women, for aging women. We want to just do uh, our makeup again in a way that enhances us and brings our best features forward through the application of makeup, highlighting and contouring and just lifting, giving ourselves a from the bottle facelift, if, we, if you will. I really hope that this can be a community where we are sharing and uh, caring for one another through uh, fun comments and makeup tips.
Alrighty, so I have uh, my face basically done. I still see some of my natural uh, blemishes coming through there, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to uh, go ahead and spray my face with the Pixie. And it gives me a little bit of a sheen. It is wet. I do have a couple of fans here. I never used them. This one was given to me. It was brought back from China and given to me by a sister-in-law. And okay, so next I want to go in with um, some cheek product. And I think I was going to use this gel Let's go ahead and do it because I do have a purple, kind of purple look and this is what it looks like. And it's like a mousse, moussey gel. It's going to take it. Right there. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of Lorigella. that brush that I was trying to do a little um, contouring with. I'm just going to dab it in the lower gala. See if there's anything. Ooh, yeah, there is something left in there. She's coming through. Lower gala is. It's kind of a pinky color, a little lighter than what I want. Let's go in with a fluffier brush and work that out. And for this, you know, guys, I don't have to do a highlighter because this Laura Geller has enough highlighting in the blush, in my opinion. It's a little lower than what I want it to be, but... Try to work it up. We're going to work with that. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to put a little here. Okay, that's Laura Gella and this is in Berry Trifle. It is brightening. Okay, so next, what do I need to do? Let's see, uh, mascara. For mascara, I am going to use the Clarins. Should I use, I'll start off with the Clarins. Okay, now I'm going to go on my lower lid with the little brush here from BH Cosmetic. This is the slanted brush and I'm going to pick up, I really like that purple. I have to be careful because it does go everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pop on some jewelry and a top and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I have my earrings on and I have my uh, top on for um, my Valentine Day look. And I'll put my jewelry holder back. And I want to finish up with a little um, Charlotte Tilbury and a Lippy. So this is the finishing powder and I'm going to use that fluffy brush I had. It's a little lighter than what I like. I think there is a deeper one now, but I'm just going to put it in a few places. Okay, and next is a lippy. Okay, this is where it gets a little hard for me. Um, I have a couple. I think I'm going to go with this nude lippy I have. And I'm going to start off with a uh, pencil that I have here from, I think it's from Morphe. Yes, it is. Trendsetter. I'm trying to use it up some. Have you guys thought of any goals for your channel for this year? If you have a channel or just goals in general for your life, things you want to uh, see happening or change for you? If so, you know, you don't have to share them all, but just share one or just say yes or no, you know, in the comment section. So here is this lippy. It's a nude color, a kind of deep color. Uh huh. for me and I am going to go over it with a little bit of I have two shades here Belief Beauty one I'm going to go over it 
with it. And I think it has a cute name. Let's find my glasses so we can see the name of this. And that allows the lippy to dry down a little bit. Uh, it is in Heartbreaker. So we're gonna use Heartbreaker on top of this lippy that I have on, this liquid lippy that I don't know the name of, don't know who it's from. And this just kind of gives me a little shine, I guess. Okay, so this is my look for um, Valentine's Day. I think it is a nice mature look. Let's see if I missed any notes that I wanted to um, just bring forth to you. Mm, let's see. No, so just just yeah makeup for older women for Valentine's Day I guess what I want to do is pull out a um, scent this one is from a Victoria's Secret and it is called dream angel I've had it for eons I didn't even know I had a Victoria's Secret scent so um, I think I want to the bottle cap is cute if you can see that it's either an angel's wing or a heart I don't know Maybe it's uh, Angel's Wing since it's called, what's it called? Dream Angel? Hmm. The scent is pretty nice. I cannot describe it, but. Hmm. I like that. That's one choice. The other choice is Angel Nova. I can miss this on. It's cute. And I know what this smells like. I love this scent. But I think I'm going to go with this one because I haven't used it in so long. Why not? Very nice. I love the mist with that. A nice mist from Victoria's Secret. Okay, guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching me present this look. Be sure to just tap that in a little bit check out all the other ladies as they present their looks to you for uh, beauty over 40 a Valentine's look um, that you're sure to um, enjoy you know just putting that little time and effort into yourself to just bring about um, an enhanced view of yourself yeah so what do you think of this look let me know down in the comments. Have a great Valentine's Day. And remember, a smile is your best accessory. So long for now.